debate rages over our foreign policy, present and future. That is as it should be in a democracy. No one can foretell what decisions may emerge from that debate, but in this job, this job for your boys, for your men everywhere, there can be no debate and there can be no argument. <laughs> Only one thing can we foretell. Come what may, America stands behind its men in uniform. America stands united. I thank you. Hey, look. They're all buying them. That's yours, huh? Hey, there's another one. Lucky. They're certainly worth buying, boys. So they got any left? Oh, sure. sure. One defense bond and three ten-cent defense stamps. Hey, Abby, what are the stamps for? For the fence. You mean you put the stamps on the fence? And to whom do you mail the fence? Your name, please. But Adam. Customer's mine. You don't understand. These stamps are for defense. You see, when you buy a defense stamp or a defense bond, you're saving your money by lending it to Uncle Sam. See, Uncle Sam needs that money uh, to build ships and planes, tanks. And what? Tanks. You're welcome. For what? For giving me such wonderful advice. Oh, sure. I want to help my Uncle Sam. Well, you should. And I also want to help myself. Well, Therefore, I'm going to buy plenty of those defense bonds and stamps. That's the boy. And you, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to help your Uncle Sam, I hope you do the same. Sure. Thank you. The greatest need among our women today is for a total national defense program. And what can the women do? Well, first, they can sell stamps and bonds to the government in order to make a national defense program possible. Then we can train ambulance drivers. We'll need many of them in case of war. Nursing, particularly first aid. Aviation for groundwork and looking for hostile planes. Munition workers, in order to take the places of our men, if it's necessary for them to go to war. Recreation. A recreational hostess in our camps can do very fine work for our boys. And yes, I believe that the women of this country would shoulder a gun and go to war if necessary to prevent Nazi domination in these United States. 